Hello and welcome to AJ Storytime channel for kids. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell so you receive the notifications of when I'm reading live. Today we are going to start our spring story times. So I hope that you enjoy all this amazing story time. I know you saw the last video about the five senses. So I will be reading a lot of nice books this uh, spring time. So I hope that you can subscribe to my channel so you can support me. Me. The first book we are reading is called How to Catch the Easter Bunny. This is from the New York Times bestselling author and illustrator Adam Wallace and Andy Elkerton. I hope that you enjoyed this book. How to Catch the Easter Bunny. I have been working long and hard with all my peeps and crew. We have made the eggs and now I am here to bring them all to you. My real name is a secret. My friends call me Evie. My special job means I must hide my true identity. Mr. Bunny, Evie, world best hopper. Yes, I am the Easter Bunny. And I am coming to your home. If you have Easter spirit, then you just might see me wrong. The first trap is quite simple, just carrots on a plate. I'm lining facts. To catch me, you'll need some better bait. A hole that's covered by a rock will never cause me strife. I have, have you forgotten what I am borrowing my life? Now, this is more like a, a fully dance floor. I'll do a little hip hop, then dash behind the door. This nest trap is quite clever, made by brilliant engineers, but it's hard to catch a bunny who has supersonic ears. You want to catch me for my eggs and magic basket too? But I have been hiding Easter treats since 1862. This trap nearly gets me, but check out all my hops. Watch me dodge the flying fish and cherry yogurt pops. I switch my size from two feet tall to something small and gray. Your Easter spirit is so strong you see me right away. I leave so many Easter treats, no children will be sad, but when they see that I have gay, they all be hopping mad. The bunny number tumble 2.0. Sure, taste me for a spin, but I got lucky rabbit's feet. I know, I always win. With all the treats delivered to children big and small, I got one special stop to make to my favorite kids of all. See you next year. Aww. How can you catch the Easter Bunny, right guys? Our next book is called The Hycopotamus. This is by Aaron Sands. Hycopotamus. <laughs> there was a hippopotamus who we who hiccuped quiet a lot of us, and every time he got to miss he'll fall upon his bottom us. one day he saw an elephant with cakes of green and yellow plant Hip, he tried to tell her Hello, fan! But it didn't go so well. Well, a pan! And trip the elephant tippy. They ran near a rhinoceros with minty dental. Flosseros, his string went all crisscrosseros, 
and that was the last rhinoceros. They tried to find a therapy, some cure, which they could share a pee, a what or why or where a pee to stop this long Naima therapy. They wrap him round with liquid and spawn him very quickerish. They secure him to a buffalo and make him huff and buffalo. They acquire an aquarium and flash him something scary. They pour him tops of vinegar and tickle his shiny chiniker. And then, alas, a miracle! His hiccups, so severe, just didn't reappear. He grind from near and ear until. It was not him, it was somebody else. <laughs> the Hippopotamus, Hick, my Aaron sense. I have another book for you. This book is about spring, because we are learning about spring, right guys? Spring by Jill Cult. Spring is in the air, right guys? I already saw one flower growing in my garden. I'm so excited about it. And my little vegetables are growing too. Goodbye to winter. March is here. Snow smelts, and many birds fly north from their winter homes. Flowers bloom in the northern half of the world. March 20 is the first day of spring. Spring is one of Earth's four seasons. The other seasons are summer, fall, and winter. Each season lasts about three months. Spring comes between winter and summer. It usually rains a lot in spring. Light rains or cold showers. Rain help flowers grow. People sometimes say April showers bring May flowers. Spring is a stormy time. When it rains too much, rivers and lakes flood. Spring may bring tornadoes too. Tornadoes are windy storms that spin across the land. Some people say a tornado sounds like a train. Others say it sounds like a roar. Tornadoes are a strong and scary storm. Look how beautiful this look. May flowers grow next to this stream. In spring, you get to see all the beautiful flowers. Time to wake up. Plants need sunlight and water to grow. Spring gives plants a lot of buff. When the ground warms up and spring rain frame falls, seeds sprout. Many plants go to sleep in winter. When spring comes, they wake up and some plants wake up earlier in spring than others do. Tulips bloom early, so do apple trees and plum trees. On the first day of spring, day and night are each. 12 hours long. This is a caterpillar. Caterpillars hatch in spring and then find food. And you know what happened to them, right guys? Yeah, they become a butterfly. Trees and bushes grow small bumps on their branches in spring. These bumps are called buds. Buds turn into leaves or flowers. Roses, daisies, and other plants grow bugs too. Eggs and babies. Harbinating animals wake up in spring. Turtles crawl out of the mud to warm themselves in the sun. Chickmon, coppers, and snake wake up too. Robins are one of the first birds people see in spring. They are called messengers of spring. A mother robin feeding her young chick right here. Actually, I have some robins in my backyard. I saw them like two weeks ago. Many baby animals are born in spring. Spring is a good time to be born. Food is easy to find and the sun feels warm. Robins and other birds fly north in spring. They sing songs to each other, they build nests, they lay eggs and wait for their babies to hatch. Spring is a season of babies and new life. Insects lay eggs too. 
Flies and beetles lay eggs. Spiders lay eggs in small bags called egg sacs. Moths and butterflies break out of shelf called cocoons in spring. A colorful season. Spring is planting time. Farmers plant seeds in fields. Some people plant seeds in vegetable gardens. Others plant flowers in parks and baskets. The, this big flower right here is called an Easter lily. Spring is filled with holidays. Families gather to pray and eat special food during Passover and Easter. Some people color eggs on Easter. April's Fool's Day is a spring holiday. On a spring on April 1st, people play tricks on each other. Mother's Day and Memorial Day are spring holidays too. Spring is a colorful season. Enjoy it. Plant seeds. Whistle with the baby birds and color Easter eggs. And then get ready for summer. The average American eats 250 eggs each year. This includes eggs in cakes and other foods. Easter eggs can be fancy and colorful. Hands on, taco in a bag. Celebrate Cinco de Mayo by cooking for your family. What you need? One pound of ground beef, one packet of taco seasoning mix, four snack sized bags of corn chips, toppings such as shredder, lettuce, shredder, shredder, and cheese and salsa. What you do is that you have to have a grown up help you brown the meat, then follow the directions on the seasoning packet before opening the box, gentle cross the chips, and have a grown up help you cup the bags along a side edge. Spoon the beef and all the toppings into the bags, grab a fork and eat. Wow, such a nice book about spring. I have another book for you. Spring is in the air. This book is called Spring by Ailey Busby. Are you ready for spring? I am ready. I know it's spring when I hear the birds singing when I wake up. It makes me feel like singing too. It's time for t-shirts and new shoes, tricky shoelaces and big buttons. Baby animals play in the sunshine, funny bugs buzz, and butterflies flutter by. It's time to plant seeds and watch them grow. I can water them with my can. I want to run and skip and jump and ride my tricycle as fast as I can. Everything starts to grow, including me. Such a nice book, right guys, about spring. I have one more book for you and this will be our last book. I hope that you're getting inspired and ready to celebrate spring. Because I am. I'm already cleaning my bicycle so I can go bike riding. This last book is called Thinking About the Seasons, Spring. Don't forget before you leave to subscribe to my channel. This is by Claire Collison. Thinking About Spring. When I think of spring, I think of bright sunshine and fresh air. The cold of winter has gone and I can play outside with a coat. What makes you think of spring? Spring is one of the four seasons of the year. Spring, summer, fall, and winter. In spring, the sun gets stronger and the days get longer. What kinds of flowers make you think of spring? Spring is warmer than winter but colder than summer. In spring, the sun may feel warm but the wind can be cold. On windy days, I like to fly my kite. What do you, do you like doing in windy weather? <laughs> the March wind. I came to work as well as play. I tell you what I do. I whistle all night long day. Woohoo, woohoo. I toss the branches up and down and shake them to and fro. I reel the leaves in flocks of brown and send them high and low. I strew the twigs upon the ground, the frozen earth I sweep. I blow the children round and round and wake the flowers from sleep. 
When the air is cold in spring, I wear clothes that will keep me warm. I wear pants and sweater or jacket. The weather can change quickly in spring, so it's a good idea to wear lots of layers. On sunny spring days, I can play outside in a t-shirt. After the cold of winter, it's nice to feel the warm sunshine on my skin. What clothes do you wear in spring? Have you seen the trees covering bright green leaves in spring? Some trees lose their leaves in the fall. In spring, when the weather gets warmer, buds open and new leaves appear. In springtime, I often see fruit trees covered in pretty blossoms. This painting made me think of apple trees in spring. Where do you see blossoms in the spring? When I go to the countryside in spring, I often see tractors in fields. Spring is a busy time for farmers. They prepare the soil and plant seeds. Have you ever visited a farm in spring? Farmers sometimes use scarecrows to protect their crops from birds. They dress them in old clothes and sometimes fill them with straw. How do you think a scarecrow helps to keep birds away? Springtime makes me think of new life. Lots of animals are born at this time of year. On farms, sheep give birth to lambs and cows have calf. This painting makes me think of new life in palms and rivers in spring. You can sometimes see ducklings learning to swim. What kind of food do you think dogs like to eat? Did you say corn? I don't know. Springtime makes me think of spring celebration. At Easter, I like to paint eggs and make Easter decorations. Have you ever been on an Easter egg hunt? On Mother's Day, I make my mom a card and give her spring flowers. Can you think of any other special day in spring? I hope that you enjoy this amazing book. It has so many information about spring and what we can do, right? This book was called Thinking About the Season Spring. Spring, spring, hypopotamus, and how to catch the Easter bunny. This was the books that we read for the storytime theme of today's spring. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Goodbye.